After listening to the previous episode of this confession by our gospel musician brother, who shared with us his encounter with these occultic kingpins overseas. In our previous episode he shared with us how he got to meet this initiator who at the then hour of the day lay with him and in the process he eventually gave himself to be used without thinking twice. It is really becoming scary when you hear things of this nature happening in the body of Christ. Because ordinarily, it is in the body of Christ that peace and joy is supposed to be restored. You only become aware of what you have involved yourself with, when you are too deep into whatever it is that you are associated with. Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode here on Dangerous African Confessions HD. In this episode, we have the continuation of the confession by our brother, who is a gospel singer. He shared with us his involvement in the occult or the Masonic cult, which led to him becoming popular. Like I said in the previous episode, he agreed to have this conversation with us but wanted us to not to put his name out there. We agreed to it and so, we need to honor his request. The most important thing here, is to understand what is going on in this world, and know how to connect yourself back to your maker yourself. I will entreat you all to pay much attention to our brother's message to us all. I wouldn't want to take much of your time, so let us all go and listen to what our brother has for us. I agreed and he booked for a room for me. I slept in the room all alone. It was around about 2 a.m. when I started having these strange feelings. I felt horny and this time around, I didn't feel for woman. But then, I was feeling for a man instead. I don't know what came over me that night, I went to their door and knocked on the door. My friend came and opened the door. He just went inside the room and I followed him. That night was so strange. Even right now that I am recounting what happened, I still feel some way about. The pastor was in bed and was wearing only singlet and his boxers, same as my friend. I just went straight to the bed and started kissing the pastor. He also kissed me back and said that, I knew you were going to come back. That night, all the three of us had it in turns. It was after that, the pastor told me that, whatever I wanted to know about is what I came for again. He told me in the morning that, he was willing to support me to reach any heights that I could imagine. He told me that, he was going to be my man. Same as he is like a husband to my friend. And he was going to stand in for me so that I can have my initiation done that day. Provided I was ready for it. Without hesitation, I told him that I was ever ready to go through with it. That day, I was initiated into the kingdom of the occultist group. Where we pay obeisance to the devil. I will be detailing how I have also initiated or recruited 15 top gospel musicians into the occult world. Now before I go on with me recruiting the other young gospel ministers, and the process that I also went through before I was accepted and was made to be known throughout the nations, I would love to first of all talk about this. There is something that happens when you go for such initiations. And whatever that happens, or whatever they will do to you, you can never get it behind you. What I mean is that, because my initiation started with my back hole being penetrated by my initiators, I do not enjoy anything with a woman other than having a male counterpart. And most of the gospel ministers out there, and I can say that almost about 80% of the prophets out there are all into enjoying themselves from the back hole. That is something I have been through and I am still in it. Honestly with this thing, I fear something bad might happen to me in the near future. This is because, as it, it is now, if I will visit the toilet to ease myself and I do not rush there quickly, anything at all can happen to me. So almost any time I will go out to any program, or go out in the public that I know I will spend long time there, I take medicine so that I will not feel the need to go to ease myself. This is something that has become a part of my life now, and I can't step out without taking medicine each and every day. Please you should know that, most of your respected and renowned prophets out there are all in the same ship. And depending on their rituals they were introduced to when they went into these accord groups, they will exhibit such things. Some of them are only attracted to married women. In such situations, the women do not see anything wrong with what they engage themselves in with these prophets. And the most shocking aspect I will have to tell you is that, most of them do engage with the wives of their junior pastors. And even when these junior pastors do know what is going on, they do not have the courage to confront the issue. And this is because, when you go through such initiations, 
you are given these rings and items that controls anyone that comes close to them. You dare not challenge them even when you know within yourself that they have done you wrong. During my initiation, three senior prophets who are the top hierarchy of the fraternity had me from my behind for almost three days continuous. After which I was given a red and black robe to wear. That evening, I was summoned in front of the big altar and was made to affirm my decision to be a part of this group. That night that I had my initiation, I could count about almost seven top prophets here in Africa that I knew from afar there. When after all the swearing and the necessary prayers were made, I was given a ring and a cloth. This cloth is a cloth I wear anytime I organize a great show for myself. And when I step on the stage to perform, something possesses me and I wouldn't know what will happen. It is always only after I have finished performing that I will know what I did. But during that time, the crowd that I will move will only be known to people who will be present. I am always under the influence of the power that is controlling me during that time. To tell you the truth, I have never sacrificed any human for whatever I have achieved. But then, I am aware of the fact that, some people who want to go higher in the realms need to sacrifice a lot including sacrificing human blood for their selfish and personal gain. I am not trying to paint myself as holy before anyone, I totally understand and know what I have gotten myself into. But even if I am not able to right my wrongs, I hope to warn my fellow brothers and sisters out there. I am ever prepared to if it comes that, my life will be taken away from me. But then, before it reaches that time or point, I would love to let people know about what is going on. I am pouring my heart out to you people. Know and take this from me, as someone who have been there and has witnessed whatever goes on in these groups and fraternities. Now, after I was initiated and got my first breakthrough as far as my music career is concerned, I was tasked to also recruit other ministers to the fraternity, so that we can widen ourselves. And it was done strategically across the continent. I was made to host major shows in and across lots of the countries. So after every show that I did in any of these countries that I went to, I made sure that I made friends amongst the gospel musicians in that country. And that is the genesis of their recruitment into their cult. Most of the songs that you listen to and think the inspiration is from the creator of the universe, is all but lies. It is coming from no place than from the influence of the occultist spirit that dwell within them. I have done shows in Zimbabwe, South Africa, Nigeria and then Ghana. I have also traveled overseas to mount bigger platforms. I am not taking anything away from the stages and shows that I have done in the African continent. Anytime I host these shows, the people that I have also connected them to the court are given the chance to also show how powerful their ministrations are. That way, I am showing them to the rest of the world that they are also powerful just as I am when it comes to song ministrations. If I am not mistaken, I have successfully led about 15 top African gospel singers into the court and they are global top performers. I wouldn't sit here and tell you that every other singer in Africa is a part of the cult. But then, the number that I know of is something for the people out there to be worried about. My brothers and sisters must be very careful about the kind of songs they listen to, all in the name of them being gospel songs. These feel good gospel songs, you must be very careful when listening to them. I must tell you that I have given or churned out similar songs. This thing is like a network, where the pastor and prophets in these networks prefer to deal with gospel singers who are also in the same grade with them. Because, dealing with them becomes so easy. Unlike not knowing the source of the person coming to stand on your altar to sing. This is because, most of the altars that are built in so many churches do have some secrets that when exposed, you will be shocked and might not even be ready to go to church again. Please all that I can say is that, be careful of the people you associate yourself with when it comes to your spiritual needs and growth. I would love to end here by telling you that love yourself and the things that you are doing. Do your best and watch your best turn your hard work into a good result for you. Nothing in the spiritual realms are given for free. Don't let anybody deceive you into thinking there are some special things that you need to do before your maker will bless you. Right now, I have all the things that I need in life but I will tell you something that you have no idea of, and that is, I wish I were you. I have gotten to a place that I know there is no turning back for me. Please don't be like me.
love yourself and your precious life. You came alone, and you shall live here all alone. Don't ever follow anybody to something or a place you have no idea. Thank you my people. Love you all. Don't forget to please subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. Like I always say, these are not just stories for story's sake. They are meant for us not to make these mistakes our brothers and sisters are making. That's why we share these stories with you. After listening to this story, I will say that, I leave everything to our viewers to foment and share their experiences with us all, if only you have experienced something like this. We are going to have series of interviews with our brother, so that even as he is part, he can share with us what really is going on in the dark places where we cannot see. Again, I would like to stress that, we do not have any ill motive, but we are here to help our innocent brothers and sisters to realize what is happening out there, that they do not have any idea about so that they can make their own decisions going forward in their walk with Christ. The only thing I can say is that, know Christ for yourself. Because it takes you to discover yourself, and nobody else. Let me talk about what really is happening in this generation, our people and loved ones are gradually being being deceived into thinking that, pastors cannot make mistakes, and as if they cannot also do things that are dangerous. With the kind of confessions that are coming in, and we are compiling to give to you our dear listeners, it will shock you to know the dangerous and some astonishing things some pastors are doing out there. I always say that, know the God your Lord for yourself. And do not see God from someone's perspective. Because you might not know their sources and the kind of things they do behind the scenes before they come and tell you the supposed word of God. We will continue with what our brother have been discussing with us in the next episode. I just hope that we honestly take the important lessons from these stories to better our lives and decisions. I pray that we learn from some of these stories and live a better life. If not for anything at all, it pays to live a decent and better life. Stay blessed and be safe. Thanks for being a part of this growing family. Kindly share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. And if you are new here, please subscribe, like and share.